Welcome to a new episode. Okay, this is not a new episode, frankly. I'm still in the same place and I recorded this at the same time as last week's episode, but it was easier this way. So, uh, today we're going to be discussing skin tones. Uh, now, a lot of people just, you know, when they, when they use a new camera, they really care about the skin tone coming from this camera. They, they really analyze the skin tones, how it deals with skin tones, and it's like a big deal. And if you're a colorist or you know a bit about color, you know that you can always adjust the skin tones later. So we're going to look at two examples of adjusting the skin tones in your image um, to whatever you want. So let's start. Now let's take a look at this image here. Now I want to change her skin tones. Now, but before I do that, I must balance the image. I know I can always pull a key on, you know, from her skin tones, but it's better to do it uh, the easy way, frankly, for me. So first I'm going to color correct the image. So what I'm gonna do is to come to custom curves here, hover over this plate because I know this should be white and I'm gonna click on it. And now I have three points created. And the three points created here needs to be exactly on the same horizontal line for the image to be uh, correct, or for this particular object to be white, pure white. So what I'm gonna be doing now is to, um, you can see the, the, the red is really high, then we have the green and the blue. So I'm just going to align all of them on this line here. So I'm simply going to bring the, oh, undo, sorry. Okay, of course, before I change anything, I need to uh, click this. Uh, uh, icon here so I can control uh, every point separately and now back to green and I'm just going to bring it up a bit I'm going to bring the red down to this point here and I'm going to bring the uh, blue up and now I'm going to add a new node, increase saturation in the new node, and the image is much better. Take a look at the original image and the new one. And I'm going to repeat the same thing actually one more time. So I'm just going to add um, a new node. And uh, usually we increase saturation, you add some shifts. Yep, yeah, exactly. So they're not exactly aligned. So I'm just going to come to red here. I'm just going to keep it where it is, just maybe a bit down. Green, just a bit up and blue and I'm just going to bring blue up here and this made it really easy for us to color correct the image instead of you know just keep on guessing and you know trying to uh, change all every single parameter to correct the image so I'm going to add a new node now and in the new node I want to only control the skin tones now the skin tones are usually uh, in the red area so it's very simple I'm just going to go to hue versus hue so where we uh, affect the hue of certain colors in the image based on their hue so I'm simply going to come to uh, hue versus hue here and I'm going to click on the red icon and now if I just bring it down take a look at the skin tones of course remember that when you do this you're actually changing every single red thing in the image so sometimes you might need to pull a key to prevent it from changing like uh, colors of things that should be red you know in the image so but in our particular case we're gonna we're gonna t take a look at this now so again red so notice when i bring the red controller down i'm bringing the image more towards yellow and up i'm you know pushing it more towards magenta so i need to find the area where i think this is the right skin tone for this particular image so for example this is a correct skin tone if if i'm looking for if i'm after this look and this is also a correct skin tone if i'm looking for a slightly greenish image now if i bring it all the way down or all the way up you can see how much i'm changing the skin tones I don't think anybody would love to see this unless it's a sci-fi. Whenever I'm changing red, I'm currently changing two objects in the background. I'm changing the color of this part of the image here and the wall in the background and maybe some, maybe a lot of other things, frankly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm simply going to come to uh, windows and I'm going to create a shape around her. So. Okay, and I'm going to hide the shape. And I, now I have this controller controlling her skin tones only without affecting the rest of the image. So now I can simply come back to my adjustment here and I can change her skin tone. And if, and frankly, it, it's not always a big problem um, how it affects the rest of the image because when you're working with skin tones, you're only going to change it like really slightly, you know, because, you know, if, you, if, you, if I just pull it down, this doesn't look natural. And if I put it really up, it, this doesn't doesn't look natural so I only have a very small range of control you know to change my uh, skin tones from greenish you know to uh, magenta 
So now let's take a look at this image. Now I have this image here. I'm also going to uh, uh, make sure that everything is correct here. I'm just going to come here, click on this and again, align my color. So this is the green, this is the blue and this is the red. So my image is correct now. Um, at least the colors in my image are correct. The image is not correct, it's just the colors now. Uh, I'm just going to add a new node and um, I'm just gonna come back to uh, hue versus hue, click on red and now I can simply control my skin tones the way I want uh, to. So I can just like really make them green, make them blue or just maybe go for a slightly greenish skin tones or uh, again for uh, magenta skin tones. So just remember you can always change the skin tones when, when you're working if you're going to be um, coloring of course if you're working on a really fast projects if you're working in weddings or something i don't think that uh, you can actually work with skin tones extensively the way we work with films but um, it's it's always good to know that you can control uh, the skin tones later in resolve if you needed to uh, thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe so you'll get more episodes of this uh, kind of episodes. And um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, what do you want to say? Yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.